Hello everybody, this is Bonnie and I'm here with a card share. This is the image that I was working with tonight. Um, this is Honey, Honey Gardner to be exact is her name. She's a digi image and I got her from ccdesigns.com. That's the, their new name. They used to be known as allthatscraps.com. Um, I don't believe um, this little girl Honey is available in stamps anymore. I, I believe they phased out all the, the rubber stamps of her and now she's only available as Digi. But I could be wrong. That's just what I have seen her as. But the minute I saw her, I had to get her because she so looks like my mom. And this was the exact image <laughs> needed for the card that I made for her. Just to give you a little background, I live in New York and my whole family my and my mother all live in the Midwest. Um, I am the baby of the family and all of my siblings um, were married and had kids and were out of the house when I was still young. My um, grandfather and father passed away and so I was living with my mother and my grandmother and us three together we were like the three amigos and my mother to this day is like my best friend so what I try to do every week is to at least make one card to send to her because she is so far away from me uh, we used to um, always be in Hallmark, buying cards all the time, sending them back and forth to each other. And that's kind of how I got started in the card making because honestly cards at, you know, Hallmark are, are very expensive now. Just a plain, simple card can easily be $4.99 or $5.99. So I try to make her as many cards as I, as I can a week and send them off to her. She totally loves them. She has, my old bedroom is kind of like a room where she goes to relax and watch her soap operas and her movies and things like that. And she displays all the cards I make for her there. And she totally is always waiting at the mailbox for them. So it's very important for me to make her cards. And um, it's kind of our little thing that we have together. So, you'll see a lot of cards on my, on my channel that I make for my mother. So, as I said, this is Honey Gardener, is the digi image that I use to make this card. And, move this up. And, here is the card that I made. Um, I did use a Michaels corrugated card base for her and I only used one paper stack and it was the little yellow bicycle sorry <laughs> hello spring 6x6 six six pad I used all papers from that and I colored honey up with my Copics uh, I went ahead and glossy accented her glasses and the shovel, you really can't see it that well. She totally looks like my mom with really long legs. My mother is an awesome gardener. Um, minute spring hits, she is out there at least six hours a day. She's won awards. Um, people come to view her gardens and she has above ground and below ground ponds that she has koi in and she has got such a green thumb and knows how to do everything with plants so the reason behind this <laughs> card is i talk to my mom twice a day and for about two weeks every single time that i talked to her she kept on saying that she was going with my stepdad to get dirt and they were getting truckloads of it and every day it was, oh, we got this many bags of dirt, this many bags of dirt. And I was like, Mom, why do you need so much dirt? Like, what happened to all the dirt that you had? 
and she's just like you know this is what you need to do when you're planting and she just constantly was going to get dirt so when I saw this with these little bags and she was a gardener with the little geraniums and the tulip I was like oh this is my mom it also was the first time that I ever um, I'm very new to coloring with Copics and it was very new to me the first time I ever uh, made grass by using the flicking motion so I thought I did pretty much okay with that um, I really wish I had flower soft or even if I had coffee in my household because I really wanted the dirt to be somewhat more three-dimensional I thought for a while of using some brown glitter um, but my friend who looked at the card said I was absolutely nuts because dirt doesn't glow and doesn't glitter and and well he's a guy so he's just like you know glitter or dirt doesn't sparkle <laughs> so I refrain from putting it in it's very hard I didn't do use any stickles on this card so I just the glossy accents um, this little burlap trim going down here I had gotten last year from Hobby Lobby it was um, in the fall and I think I got it for like 75% off and it's actually wired and I've been using it a lot on a lot of different projects um, but it's kind of a neat little trim so I used that on the bottom and then the ribbon that I've used down here that is just uh, an American Crafts ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby oh no I take that back I got it from Big Lots I was kind of surprised that they were selling single rolls of American Crafts there and I think I got this for like 25 cents so that was a steal and then these little gems right here are just some purple gems that my mother actually sent to me to use. And the only other thing that I used on this card was these thickers. If you could see them, they're actually brown and they have like this pink stripe going through them and they're puffy. Um, and I actually put one the hearts on the side on up on a pop dot so that they would match out but the sentiment on this card is got and on the inside enough dirt <laughs> because every day I kept on saying did you get enough dirt today mom did you get enough dirt so it's kind of our little inside joke this uh, piece of paper again was from the same uh, hello spring paper pack I just used the whole sheet and I love these thickers because they have the little hearts for everything. And what I wanted to show you um, is I want to show you what the packaging they came in. And I'm saying they're thickers, and I'll show you why. Um, I rarely ever go to big lots. Um, in all the times that I ever went there, I never could find anything really that I liked. It always was like some completely ransacked aisle with stuff that was torn apart. And to me, it was just, ugh, you know, I never wanted to go there. But then a Big Lots opened about 10 minutes from me, way out um, in the outskirts of nowhere. And I thought, you know, what the heck, I'm going to go there. And I'm so happy I did because... I got so many bargains and I got thickers for 50 cents um, the first two weeks when the store opened and these are the alpha um, stickers that I just used as you can see there's all these little hearts <laughs> but you're gonna say hmm these aren't thickers they're called paper market fresh inspiration and they're called alpha bites let me see if I can get that to bite size gourmet alphas for immediate consumption and these were called jelly bean cocoa and they are they're brown and it's like a little light pink that goes inside of them and the back 
you have all the numbers, more hearts, and the rest of the alpha. Now here's the fun thing. Look at this. Alpha Bites, nutritional facts, serving size one pack, 250 pieces, gourmet goodness, 100%, infinite creative possibilities. And in the middle it says, paper market, designed by American Crafts. And over here we do have American Crafts, um, dot com and it says 2010 now I do know paper market um, this right here is actually in Japan it's a store and they have a website that is all about scrapbooking so I don't know if American crafts just created these um, for that store but these are called jelly bean cocoa and I also did get this set and this is called oh this one was called grapefruit can't see because the labels behind there and these actually look like the subway ones they're pink with glitter dots on them but they too also have all these little hearts to use like on the eyes and J's and exclamation points and they have the same Thing on the back saying that they are American crafts and the thing that was so cool about this is when I got these it says that they're a dollar and of course when I saw these I took all that they had and I was checking them out and I also had a bag of the American craft ribbons that are usually like nine or ten dollars well everything during the first two weeks of the grand opening was 50% off so I got these for 50 cents <laughs> and, and all the other stickers that I got too and the ribbons I actually got for 450 too so it was kind of a steal um, but after those two weeks everything was sold out I, I, I haven't seen these ever come back there I haven't been back there for about eight months now but when I was going there when it opened for the first two months or so, I never saw them again. But I just think they're really cool because they're not your normal thickers, but they're made by American Crafts. So, sorry to go on a tangent with that, but I just thought I would share that little wealth of information that I have. So again, this is my color, my card for my mom. So it's got enough dirt. <laughs> I know she will get a complete giggle out of it and I enjoyed making it. So I hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe if you already haven't, and thank you so much, and have a wonderful day. Bye now.